be bigger than we expect, but there will be a change because Mr. Sarkozy has founded the political relations with the uh, head of state. And we believe that Francois Hollande is to have his relations with the state, not with friends. So this is the kind of change we expect for the whole continent, or let's say for Africa. But uh, as far as Rwanda is concerned, of course, I think the change will be very deep. Why? Because the French policy has been associated to the genocide in Rwanda starting 1994 up to now. And even Mr. Mitterrand, the former president of uh, France, has been himself linked to this genocide, which is not going to be accepted by Hollande, who seems to be a kind of a political child of Mr. Mitterrand. So we think that uh, there will be a change in any case. Is there any evidence uh, when you talk about uh, the possible involvement of the socialist government of uh, President uh, Mitterrand uh, in the 1994 Rwandan genocide? Is there any empirical evidence uh, in as far as uh, the Rwandan government authorities are concerned? Well, the empirical evidence cannot be found, but what, what we know is that uh, there had been a personal relationship between Mr. Abiyarimana, the former president of Rwanda, who has been shot by, well, I mean, shot uh, in the 1994, in the April 1994, I should say. This relationship went on. All started rather from 1990, uh, straight from the conference of Labor, when Mitterrand told African leaders that. Uh, their economic development should be linked to political change in Africa. So Mr. Habiari Mana was the first to apply this principle. And then he became, uh, he created a friendly relationship between himself and Mr. Mitterrand. So this, uh, based on this relation, RPF of course has jumped on to say or to make their own analysis that Mitterrand influenced the outcome of not only of the war, but also of the genocide in my country. So when we, we talk about empirical example, or, or uh, I mean, uh, uh, how can I tell it? Uh, there's no other way of, prov of proving the relationship of Mr. Mitterrand to the situation in Rwanda, uh, otherwise than uh, relating it to the relations that they have between themselves, I mean, uh, Mr. Mitterrand and Mr. Abiyarimana. Now, Mr. Twajira Mungu, you know as well as I do that uh, in the western part of the world, uh, when it comes to foreign policy, when it comes to foreign policy, foreign policy does not normally belong to an incumbent president, to an individual who happens to be in a state house. It belongs to the country. What do you think is likely to happen about uh, the reconciliation between Nicolas Sarkozy and President Paul Kagame? Was it a reconciliation between the two, or was it, in fact, a reconciliation between the two countries? Well, uh, it was not, because the conflict remains the same. I believe it was a kind of uh, a reconciliation between two individuals with the influence of the former Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Bernard Kushner. For me, I think that Sarkozy wanted to have a kind of relation between Rwanda and France. But this has failed, because even recently, with the report uh, published in January of this year, 2012, it has been said that the aircraft which transported Habdanimana from Dar es Salaam to Kigali was shot down by Hutus, which is not correct. And because of this relation between, me, between Sarkozy and uh, President Kagame, it has been not clear that the situation has changed at all. So Mitterrand is still being blamed, and France is still being blamed 
to have participated in the war in Rwanda and also in the genocide. I see. So for me, I think the situation has not changed at all, as far as I'm concerned.